is your favorite movie? Ooh, I guess of the stuff I use, I always liked. Uh, I I I liked Saving Private Ryan. I thought that was a pretty good movie. Um, I don't know, I kind of like the Godfather movies. Uh, who is your favorite president? That's a hard question, I guess. I don't know. I like Harry Truman. I, I, I kind of like Roosevelt. I thought those two guys were in presidents in really hard times that, uh, you know, required leadership and some different change in leadership. And kind of, I, I kind of liked Reagan as a, you know, as a change up in where the country had been. and. Uh, through Mr. Missile's history class, you may, or may not, have learned everything there is to know about United States history. From Roosevelt to Nixon, Watergate to Whitewater, he's taught us everything there is to know about our great country. But what about the man himself? When was the first right. time you met Mr. Yep. Mitchell? Bye. I met Mr. Mitchell when he was a student here. Uh, probably as a sophomore or junior. I don't think I met him as a freshman. But that's when I met him, and he was very quiet, didn't say much, not like he is now. He says a lot now. Mr. Mitchell entered Lenape High School as a freshman in 1972. Once in Lenape, he played football all four years, and began to take an interest in teaching, especially history. In 1976, he graduated in Lenape, and went on to play football for Albright College. I went to Albright College as a small liberal arts school in Pennsylvania in Reading. Um, Smaller than you know, Lenape. I, I, I think when I graduated from Lenape, there was about 3,200 students. No, I mean not that many. Maybe 26, 2,800 students. Albright had about 1,100 students when I went there. So, um, you know, it was far enough away from home that you could get away. It was close enough from home that if you had to come home for a weekend or whatever, you could get home. It was. Uh, Small enough that you weren't just a number on campus, and if you wanted to be involved in something and know people, it was really easy to do that. Uh, it gave me a chance to continue to play athletics. Just, um, if I went to a big school, I would have never been able to play anything. And uh, you know, since I wanted to coach, playing and being involved in athletics was important because I, you know, I, I thought I needed that background to be a, you know, effective coach. Mr. Mitchell graduated from Albright in 1980 and found a job within months at, you guessed it, Lenape be high school. He began teaching behavioral sciences, now known as psychology, for almost 10 years, until a few history teachers retired. He then took up teaching honors US2, as he still does today. Could you describe Mr. Mitchell as a teacher? Mr. Mitchell is um, a well-educated man. He loves to read, uh, loves to learn more and share it with his students. Um, he's taken on, take on technology and try to incorporate it into every one of his classes. Um, he likes to talk. They to share stories um, to give a little bit more, you know, um, reality to what he's teaching and perspective to what he's teaching. Um, I, I think he's a very good teacher. I think he's a good man as well. How could you describe his um, personality towards teaching? He is passionate about what he teaches. Uh, he enjoys what he teaches, and the thing that I find most. Uh, Inspiring is the fact that he's always trying to improve his knowledge of his subject. What is your biggest everyday challenge? <laughs> I'm going to say like over 30 years teaching and students and the way to teach and methods and stuff have changed a lot. His biggest challenge has been adapting to technology but he's made a very uh, concerted effort to do that and, and has uh, really succeeded in that. I think probably now are his biggest challenges because um, of the way things are changing in education. Um, he's not much of a project person and um, he likes to teach the facts, you know, like they are. Um, and I think he sometimes feels like he's, he's a little behind with that kind of thing, but, um, you know, with history, history doesn't change. The facts stay the same, so. At any point did you consider leaving teaching? No, never. I mean, it's the only thing I really wanted to do. I kind of, you know, I, I know a lot of people, you know, go through adolescence and stuff about what am I going to do. I, I, I kind of, I kind of, you know, sometime in high school, I had a really good history teacher. I kind of liked it. I thought this was something I'd like to do. I, I liked kids. Um, you know, I, I, I wanted to coach. Uh, you know, my father coached youth sports, but was a businessman, and, and I 
you know, I always felt that he missed the opportunity to do what he really wanted to do, coach. What do you think the his greatest challenge here was? Being a football coach. Mr. Mitchell began coaching football the moment he was hired at his alma mater. He was an assistant coach from 1980 until he was promoted to head coach in 1990. From there, he took the team to a whole new level, winning the league title and making the playoffs four times in six years. However, in 2003, he decided to step down as the head coach of Lenape. I, I was out of coaching totally for a year. I went to coach somewhere else for two years just to see if kids were different. And uh, A good friend of mine was at Washington Township, was the head coach, and we had been friends for a long time. And Always teased about coaching with each other, and uh, I went there and coached two years. But, uh, but that was a good experience, and you know, he, he, he had cancer and he, he was dying, and that, that you know, those two years were kind of like the last two years. We got a chance to spend some time together, and then, uh, and after that, I came back here for four years as, as an assistant, which was totally different. You know what I mean? I had been the head coach. I realized that while wow, that's fun, that's not the only thing, and. Uh, you know, I missed working with kids other than just teaching here, so I, I came back and I, I did that, enjoyed it for a while, and then uh, this year I didn't coach at all again because my daughter's a senior in college, she's playing field hockey and lacrosse, so I did not want to miss anything at all, so we'll go from there, see what happens. What do you think his greatest challenge was? Uh, we were always trying to knock off Cherokee and Shawnee, and uh, there in the late 90s and stuff like that, we got pretty good and started to do that. Shawnee was the was the big rival that we always played. Uh, Cherokee was a later rival. We split with them. We'd win four. We won four. We lost four. That was pretty good. We hadn't beaten them before in the past. Uh, Shawnee, we weren't quite. Was only able to beat them twice. So they're the bitter rival. Are there any like particular challenges he faced with football? Um, football was an ongoing challenge. Um, took a lot of time away from our family. It's just time consuming when you're a head coach and even when you're an assistant to do things the way that they're supposed to be done. While sports and history class take up a good portion of Mr. Mitchell's time, he's still a family man first. In the summer of 1982, he met Patty for the first time. How would you describe how you and Mr. Mitchell? Sure. Um, one of my ex boyfriends introduced us and. Um, we just kind of started going out from there. I mean, it was a weird situation. Um, I was I was in a restaurant with a couple of friends, and they happened to walk in. They both play. Um, we're playing slow pitch softball, and uh, you know, my old boyfriend came over and introduced me to the guys that he was with, and I introduced them to the girls I was with, and you know, the two of us headed off. So it worked out well, obviously. <laughs> The couple went on to have three kids together, a boy and two girls. After Mr. Mitchell had a chance to coach his son at Lenape, he decided to step down as head coach so he could watch his daughters finish their sports careers. How fantastic of a father and husband is he? He is a very, very good person. Um, he's got, uh, how do you say, good moral, good role model. I don't know if I, you know, if I didn't love him and he wasn't a good person. Um, you know, perhaps we wouldn't be married still, I don't know, but um, he's a very good husband and a good father. With Mr. Mitchell's commitment to the classroom, success on the football field, and love for his family, it's obvious that he has achieved what millions have sought over the years, the American dream. What do you feel the American dream is? You find something that you like to do, so that when you go to work every day, it's not like a chore and it's not work. Uh, you find, uh, you know, you find someone in your life to share it with that it's, uh, you know that, that you're not working at a relationship every day. That your you know your spouse is your best friend. You you get involved in your kid's life so that you know uh, you know you enjoy what they're going through without trying to run what they're doing. And uh, you know I guess if you do it, I guess if you pick the right thing, you're you do it a long time and you kind of like it and you don't count down the days to leave.
background of the name Bucky? It's kind of hereditary, I think. My dad, um, uh, my dad is Edward Mitchell Sr. I'm Edward Mitchell Jr. My dad, I don't know why and when in his life he was Bucky and I just was Little Bucky. 